Good evening and welcome to my parents' foyer. We'll get back to Brody Knows Best in a moment, but first, I'm coming your way with some very important breaking news. Groundbreaking in today's society. Autocorrect has always been a lightning rod of frustration. The feature that guesses what you meant to say on today's cell phones has been wreaking havoc on everybody's conversations, well, since its inception. But what most people don't know is that autocorrect is actually a very cunning, skilled, and very, very graceful villainous superhero who gets his jollies on ruining people's conversations. Autocorrect guy. Standing at 5 foot 11, 155 pounds of pure finesse and frustration. Take a second to admire his grace as he maneuvers into position. It is these well polished tactics that allows autocorrect guy to blindside his victims. His element of surprise is topped only by his ability to make you sound uneducated. Autocorrect guy has honed in on his target. This poor individual is just trying to enjoy a nice day on his patio, possibly texting a female love interest or perhaps a close relative. The bottom line is this. He is about to be subjected to an unwanted correction. Oh, so you think a change of scenery will help? I'm afraid that's simply untrue. Again, showcasing his elegance of foot and flawless somersault inversions, autocorrect guy is the king of environmental adaptation. His prey is barking up the wrong tree. Poised to enact his doom on this lad's text message, you'll notice autocorrect guy always gives himself a clear line of sight. This allows him to pick and choose which word he wants to replace at the expense of the message's fluidity and in some cases your pride. Frustrated by autocorrect's inflicted chaos, you see the victim getting into his car to run some errands when he is distracted by the friendly vibration of an incoming text. He didn't know it yet, but his decision to respond was about to cost him another chance encounter with autocorrect guy. Clearly, autocorrect guy is out to prove once more that his boundaries are without limitation. Peering through the sunroof, littering this text with random words is about to be as easy as taking candy from a baby. Unquestionably frightened by the danger of this stunt, autocorrect guy demonstrates admirable dedication to his craft, following through with this correction despite the fact he sharded. Don't waste time locking doors or boarding up windows. It's just not going to help. Autocorrect is way too driven to be annoying. He emerges from behind the chair to derail this text, then vanishes before our very eyes. With smartphone popularity, autocorrect is here to stay. How can one man wreak havoc on millions of texts every day? All I can say is he's good, folks. Very, very good. Hello, I'm here with James, a self-proclaimed and admitted selfie abuser. And James, I know it's not an easy thing to talk about, so I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with me today. Sure. When did you start taking selfies? Um, I remember the day, actually, it was picture day. And I was uh, contemplating scarf or no scarf all day. It was autumn, and the uh, colors meshed well together. And the uh, camera man uh, gave me a countdown that I was not ready for. And uh, snap, you know. And it resulted in a less than favorable picture of myself. And uh, from that day on, I just felt like I could do better doing it myself. Where do you outlet your addictions to selfies? Well, it's, uh, it's kind of personal, but uh, you know, it starts with Snapchat. That's your gateway. And uh, from there on, it is your social medias, such as uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. And uh, as you do it more and more, the, the urge is there, so you, uh, you start posting more and more, taking them more and more, until uh, you basically get retweets and uh, you know, pretty much just acceptance. James, are you currently seeking any help for this addiction? Any medication that you're on? Or... Uh, currently, no. Um, I guess I'm cutting back more, you could say. Um, I'd say I realized I hit rock bottom when we we're I was at a family uh, friend's funeral and that urge, that urge started going again that I needed to take that selfie and I was just uh, disgusted with myself and, uh, and, it, and before I knew it was happening I was over the casket with my phone taking a, uh, a selfie with uh, the, uh, the departed. And uh, it resulted in a less than favorable reaction, you could say, of, uh, you know, hate, frustration, and uh, just overall, you know, disgust. So, uh, you know, uh, 
I just kind of hightailed it out of there. I can certainly imagine that reaction. That is absolutely pathetic and disturbing. Yeah. James, I know this wasn't easy to do, and I, I must say that it speaks volumes about your character to sit down candidly and, and talk to us today, but, you know, there's more people out there that struggle from this. You know, you're not the only one. Is there any advice that you would give them or guidance that you might offer? I guess if I had to be, you know, totally helpful in this, I would just say, believe in yourself, E. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's all we got. Great interview. I mean, <laughs> excellent stuff. Okay. How about a picture? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure thing. Here we go. And... Let's get out of here. Oh. Lighting all right? Oh, yeah, perfect. Hang oh. on. There we go.